Hello and welcome to another edition of Chris Boyle Didn't Know That, a podcast where I'll be finding out some things that I didn't know and possibly some things that I didn't want to know. This episode's theme tune makes me feel like I'm a cartoon cat in some baggy trousers dancing in a 1989 Paula Abdul video. Oh, those were the days. This episode is a little different than usual in honour of my role in the upcoming play Twelfth Night, where I play Sir Andrew Agercheek. I decided to interview the uh, cast members and find out a little bit about them that I didn't already know, um, starting off with our director, Martin Green. There are also bonus points available if you can spot where I get the name of my own character wrong during Martin's interview. Name? Martin Green. Um, occupation? Um, community theatre director. Is that, a, is that a real job? Yeah. Um, How long have you been doing that for? Um, I used to work for Wigan Pier Theatre Company and was made redundant about five years ago, so I set up, um, set up as a freelance uh, community theatre project manager. Um, so I work for myself and I also run projects for Healthy Arts, which is a not-for-profit um, arts and health organisation. Okay, excellent. Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? Oh, gosh. Do you um, think ballpark figure? Probably about 40, I think, since... Um, joining at the age of 15. Okay. I've directed, Which was, of course, just five years ago. Mm. Um, and directed about six productions. So you directed about six and acted, you think, in about 34-ish. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, can you describe yourself for me in three words? Um, um, I'm honest. Okay. I'm, I'm honest is two already. So <laughs> honest, honourable... And charismatic. Charismatic. Nice. I wondered if we were going to get three beginning with H then, but we didn't. <laughs> um, right, so, um, who, Martin, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Um, I think Viola is obviously the protagonist within the play and is quite um, central to the action. And it's an interesting character because she's playing a twin and playing a boy and a girl. Um, so... I would say Viola, but then I love, but then I love all the sort of the knights and uh, Malvolio, the steward. I think they're really funny. Okay, that's a shame. The correct answer is Sir Anthony Abercheek. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Um, mushy peas, Martin. Yes or no? Ooh, yes. Oh, no. Again, the correct answer is no. Um, <laughs> other than Twelfth Night, um, what's your favourite Shakespearean play? Um, from having been in stuff and. Um, uh, you, you only get to know things really well by working on them, so I would say much to do about nothing is my other one, because I really understand okay. it. And Which you were in, is that right? Yeah, I played Benedict. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then finally, um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself? A big kind of, you know, uh, focus on interesting there, that perhaps no one else knows. Um, I once robbed Rita's cabin in Coronation Street when I was at drama school okay. playing an extra. Okay, you were in it then, you didn't mm. just turn up on the <laughs> tour and then just nick something in there. Okay. No, I was a, a character in it. Brilliant, thank you. So, your name? Catherine. Catherine? Gelder. Good, sorry. it's good, you've got a surname, that's nice, you're not Madonna, um, just goes by the one. Right, now I've never met anyone called Gelder before. Yeah. Okay, do you know where that comes from? Um. So, two possibilities Oh, you one. see, because I've only got what well, I did some research in what mm. Michael Parkinson would call professionalism, but some people would call creepy. Have you got so, a nice one? Or I don't know. A nice one? Ooh, see, I've got I've got medieval English origin, occupation of one who works with gold. So I think that's Ooh, quite nice. That could be quite nice. I thought basically you were one mm. up on a blacksmith there, weren't you? Yeah. But you've got have you got two different two ones? Different okay, ones. go on then. So one, which I like to claim is the actual one, um, comes from the province of Gelderland in the Netherlands. Okay. So where Arnhem is. Right. That province is actually called Gelderland. Okay. And you get a lot of 
um, Dutch people called Van Gelder. Right. As in from Gelder. So that's the nice one, is that's it? That's the nice okay. one. Okay. The not so nice one comes from Yorkshire um, heritage and it's one who used to geld horses. Nice. Okay. I don't know. That could be quite nice if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> right. Um, occupation. I'm a teacher. Teacher. Aren't we all for our sins? <laughs> uh, and what do you teach? German. German. Secondary school. Nine! <laughs> yeah, just, that's all I can remember. That's all um, anyone can remember. Right, Catherine, how many uh, Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? This is my second. Okay, and what was your first? Uh, Made in Dagenham. And did you sing in that? I did, And yes. did you swear a lot in it? I did swear an awful go. lot. No swearing in Twelfth Night. Well, there yeah, are, re there are stage, rehearsals. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you describe yourself in three words? Oh, I hate this question. It's a good question. No, it's not. It's a great question. Um, awkward. Then. Awkward. Okay, one. there we go. Um, sleepy. I like to nap a lot. Sleepy. And um, any of the other dwarves? <laughs> um, oh, gosh. I, why is this question so hard? I don't know. I just need one more. You could say female. You could say anything. Female. Well, there you go. One, female. Awkward, sleepy and female. <laughs> there we are. Um, uh, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? I play Viola. Okay. And can you describe your character in three words? She is um, very clever. She's very good at figuring out solutions to problems. Okay, can I just stop you there and just remind you <laughs> that the question is, can you describe yourself in three words and not in a thesis? So clever. So clever. Um, she's quite witty. Witty. And are they the same thing, clever and witty? No, no they're right, not. Fabulous. I don't teach English. Okay. Um, clever, witty and strong-willed. I know it's two words, but there is it's a hyphen. hyphen. And those words in German would be? Uh, oh my gosh! Um, See, she's a liar. <laughs> she's German at all. You've done what my tens do when they ask me the German word for an infinity. I think witty. Like, I think witty is lustig. Is that not funny? Yeah, it's more funny. Okay. Mm, but yeah. You must know clever in German. Yeah. Well, you've got intelligent. Okay. Or you could have. Klug. That's just the English word said in a weird <laughs> way. I know. And what was then, our other one? We can have klug, but that's okay. more like that's more like really really clever. Um, you've got schlau, which is like a sly clever, okay. more cunning. A sly clever, I like that. Right, okay. Um, apart from your own character, uh, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? I'm not just saying this because you are sat there, but I do like Andrea Eugene. That is the correct answer, well done. <laughs> um, mushy peas, yes or no? Yes. That is the incorrect answer, the answer's no. Um, <laughs> other than Twelfth Night, yes. um, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Much Ado About Nothing. Because? Um, Similar to Twelfth Night, I like how clever it is, I like the humour in it, there's um, back and forth between Beatrice and Benedict, okay. that kind of thing. Excellent. And then finally, um, is there anything interesting about yourself that no one really knows? No. I'm quite boring, really. Oh, brilliant. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's, that's ended that on a, on, a, on a downside, isn't it? Sorry. Thank you very much, Catherine. No worries. Name? John Waite. Occupation? Oh my gosh, I don't quite know. General Gobshite and uh, food writer. Excellent. So, John, you're most famous for appearing on the Alan Titchmarsh show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it so says on your Wikipedia um, entry. Um, what's Alan like? Oh my gosh, he's the nicest person in the industry. Like, you meet him once, and then if you meet him again, even if even though you met him for like two seconds, he remembers your name, he comes up and says, Excellent. John, how are you? Oh, lovely. He's the nicest person in show business. Um, did you think about asking him to do your garden, perhaps some flagging? <laughs> But at the time I didn't have a garden, oh, okay. otherwise I would have taken advantage of him. I'm sure if you're ringing he'll remember who you are. It could be. What they call my helibores. <laughs> right, and um, how many uh, Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in, John? This is the first. Just the first this one, nice. The first. Can you describe yourself in three words? Um, oh gosh, uh, greedy, uh, passionate and... Um, uh, oh. <laughs> you were straight in with greedy, I know, but struggling on the third one. Greedy, passionate and... Um, and uh, trustworthy. Nice. Um, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? I play Duke Orsino, the noble Duke. Can you describe your character in three words? Uh, yeah, greedy, passionate. <laughs> <laughs> he is he's greedy, passionate, um, and very turbulent. Nice. Yeah. At least the last one was different. Um, apart from your own character, who is your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Ooh, I have to say, I think it's your character. Excellent, that is the yeah, correct yours, answer. And Sir Toby and Sir Andrew, I think, they're such, such good fun. No, no, just me. You were right the first <laughs> time. Um, mushy Peas, yes or no? Yes. Oh no, again, that's the incorrect answer. <laughs> um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Oh, Macbeth. Because? Because it's just so um, dark and eerie and I'm obsessed with all things macabre. So, nice. uh, Macbeth. 
Um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows? I can speak French, Spanish, Italian, um, and I have nine tattoos. Okay. No one really likes to show off, John. <laughs> Just so we're aware. Nine tattoos. Thank you very much. Your name? Emma Appleton. Uh, your occupation? I'm a private nanny. And how long have you been doing that for? On and off, about 30 years. Okay. Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? This is only my second one. Only your second one? Mm -hmm. Really? I'm surprised at that. I thought you'd done loads. Yeah. yeah well, so what was the first one you did? The Railway Children. Okay. Now, you've been recently nominated uh, for your starring role in The Railway Children. I the was. Nelda Awards, is that oh, correct? I do. Uh, but you didn't win, did you? No. No, no were you? In. Were you fuming? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just massively honoured to have been nominated for who, my first play. Who 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 did win? Do you know? Uh, I think it might have been somebody from Chorley Little Theatre. No, yeah, we don't like them, do we? Well, I'm sure we do. I'm sure they're all very lovely people. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, they are. that's good. Um, Emma, can you describe yourself in three words for me, please? Um, cheery, passionate. Um. Oh, three words. Everyone always struggles on the yeah, third one, how strangely. Weird. Can I just say a mum? A mum is two words, but oh, you, well, can, yeah, yeah. you can say because cheery, passionate, and mum. then what goes with passionate? Mum. Yeah. That's what I always say. Mum. Yeah. Some of the videos I've watched. Um, <laughs> what, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? Mariah. And can you describe your character in three words? Oh, she's a bit of a minx. Okay. She's um, sneaky and manipulative. Oh, nice. Mm. You, you were much better on your character's three words than you were on your own, <laughs> weren't you? Um, apart from your own character, um, who is your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Oh, I'd say you, darling. That is the correct answer. So well done. true. It's just hilarious. So, um, next question. Mushy peas, yes or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Again, that is the correct, incorrect answer. <laughs> Everyone's liking Mushy Peas, I don't yeah, know what's going on. Yeah. Um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Oh, it has to be Midsummer Night's Dream. Because? Oh, it's so magical. All those fairies and sparkles and beautifulness. Men with donkeys for heads. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's so it's, magical. It's just beautiful. Um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows? Oh, I collect Marilyn Monroe memorabilia. Do you things that she um, owned? No, no, just pictures of her and books written about her. Oh, nice! Yeah. Oh, there mm -hmm. we go. I love her. Thank you very much. Name? John Dudley. Occupation? Transport manager. How long have you done that for, John? Oh, most of my life. Which is? Uh, well, I'm 52 now, so I'll So about 51 through, years then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did school at 16. Okay. And, uh, you know. All right. Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? Oh, this is my... He's counting on his fingers. This is my fifth. Fifth? Yeah. All oh, right, OK. Um, and do you... Uh, in 18 months. In 18 months, really? <laughs> yeah. So you've only been a member for 18 months? OK, there you go. Mm, somebody likes the attention. Um, <laughs> in 18 months. And um, you were recently nominated for your role in the Railway Children. I was. I'll say Railway... I'll say that again and go on. You were recently nominated for a start for your star. Oh, see, I'm messing it all up. I'll probably leave all this in now. You were recently nominated, John, for your starring role in The Railway Children. Not The Railway Children. No, not The Railway Children. <laughs> but you didn't win, did you? No. No, you didn't. Um, did you manage to perfect your loser's face whilst applauding? Um, it, it was somewhat... No, it needs more practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do, do, can you remember who won, who beat you? No. No. I've got a clue. <laughs> Excellent. Once I didn't read my name, I wasn't really interested, yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Um, John, can you describe yourself in three words? Uh, happy, cheerful. Ha technically happy and cheerful are the happy, same okay, thing. Happy. All right, well, we'll go with cheerful. Okay. Um, focused okay. and driven. Nice. That's a good job being a transport <laughs> manager. Um, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? I play two characters. You play two? Yes. See, greedy. Yeah. Likes the attention. <laughs> Those characters are? I play the captain okay. in the first scene. And then Fabian. Okay, let's stick with Fabian then. Okay. Um, can you describe Fabian in three words? Fabian is geeky, but intelligent. Okay. And a little bit stupid. Okay, intelligent but stupid. We, yes. all, we all know people <laughs> like that, we do. Um, apart from your own character then, John, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Uh, Satobi. That's a shame, that is... 
That's wrong. Um, <laughs> but never mind. Uh, mushy peas, yes or no? Yes. Again, that is the incorrect answer. Uh, so far, everyone I've interviewed has loved mushy peas, and it's, they're just no. They're okay. like, the, like it's the colour of green. No one can eat that. Um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? I wouldn't know, because I've never seen a Shakespeare play up until doing Twelfth Night. Brilliant. So it is just Twelfth Night. And actually, you're not Twelfth. that keen on that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one else really knows? At, be, at some point, gonna someone's going to go, gonna there's three in. bodies in the background. <laughs> um, that no one really knows. Yeah. I uh, played football for Huddersfield Town. Really? When? When I was 16. How long did that last for? Not for if the, you could say like 40 not, minutes. Not for the first team, only for, no. for, the, for the 18. Okay, oh, yeah. excellent. All right, thank you very much, John. Name? Keir Mockler. Occupation? Uh, Tesco member. Tesco member? Is that what they have to call you? They call you a Tesco member? Tesco team member. Ten bean bass, so that's that. How long have you been doing that for? Since September 2019. Okay, so you've uh, you left college recently. You were um, a student up until the summer, was that right? Yeah, 11th of June. Last okay, week. cool. Um, at the college that I work at, Kieran, and yet you claim yeah. to have never, ever seen me before. Yeah, that one. I, I clearly don't get around enough. Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? Uh, this is my second one. This is your second one. What, what was your first one? Uh, the History Boys. That was back in 2018. Oh, cool. Right. Um, can you describe yourself in three words? Um, hmm. Probably say... Oh, it's a hard one, man. It is, it is about yourself, though. So, you know, three words about yourself. I'm generous. Generous, good one. Um, another one. Nervous. Generous, nervous. Nervous. In some cases, nervous, yeah, yeah, yeah. not all cases. And... I'm quite athletic, actually. Athletic, there you go. Generous, nervous and athletic. Um, what character do you play in 12th Night? Volunteer. And the officer. And the officer. Let's take the officer then, okay, as the as uh, the character. Can you describe the officer in three words? He's got authority. Okay. He's serious. Yeah. Um, he just don't, doesn't mess about. Excellent. Doesn't mess twice. about. It was asked for three words, you can go at 28. That's okay, right. Um, apart from your own characters, Kian, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Is a favourite character? Yes. Apart from your own. <clears throat> My own isn't my favourite character. No, no. Basically. So, so who's who's your who's your favourite? Can you? Is it is it Sir Anthony Agerchik? Is it? Yeah, it is. Brilliant. Yeah. Correct answer. Well done. Um, mushy peas. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, everyone said yes. I'm very disappointed. Um, other than Twelfth Night, do you have a, a another favourite Shakespeare play? Um, I quite like um, Othello. Yeah, I like Othello. I love Othello. I love Iago. Great character. Can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one actually knows? That no one knows? Yeah, something interesting about yourself that no one knows. Um, I plan very far ahead. Oh, okay. Into the future. Oh, right. There you go. So, but it doesn't always like work out, obviously. <laughs> well, that's what plans for the future are like. Thank you very much, Keith. Name? Colette Davis Curry. Occupation? Lecturer. And uh, what do you teach? Performing arts. And how long have you done that for? 15 years. Okay, so you're a performing arts teacher and in your spare time you also like to act. <laughs> Isn't that a little bit like Lewis Hamilton driving a stagecoach bus at the weekend just to unwind? Slightly. It's a little psychotic, I think. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite odd. Um, how many uh, Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? I genuinely couldn't count. Over 30. Over 30. Over how long? Uh, over nearly 20 years. Okay. Because so far, John, John Dudley, he's done five in 18 months, so we reckon at, at your rate, he'll have done about 157 <laughs> by the time yes. he's done that. Um, can you describe yourself in three words for me, Kurt? Um, Everyone has struggled with this question. Uh, um, okay, hang on. Diligent, okay. daft, drunken. All of them beginning with the same letter. Nice, well done. And um, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? The Lady Olivia. And can you describe her in three words? Proud. If you can do all P's again, this would be if like all D's for you, <laughs> all P's for Olivia would be great. Proud, petulant, 
and Pompous. Pompous. She did do all P's. Well done. Mm -hmm. It's like an upside down D, isn't it? Yeah. A P. It was uh, exciting. Um, apart from your own character, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Sir Andrew A U T. That is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> um, mushy peas, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's saying yes. It's very, very disappointing. Um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Uh, other than Twelfth Night, probably Macbeth. Because. I would love to play the Lady Macbeth. Okay, nice. And um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one else really knows? Uh, that no one else really that knows. No one else really knows. Um, you got to prison in 1987 for no. a crime you didn't commit. Um, I get crippling straight stage fright one minute before I walk on the stage. That, that's nice to know. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Just in case I'm backstage with you at that point yeah. and you're having a panic attack. Right, thank you, Colette. Thank you. Name? Uh, Andrew Holt. Occupation? Uh, well, actor, I guess. And how long have you been doing that for? Um, good couple of years, but only professionally for about a year. Okay, excellent. Um, so I, um, I googled you, Andrew, um, <laughs> and I was surprised to discover that you're a former professional footballer who oh, signed yes. for Hull City yeah. in 2001. Yeah, I remember that well. Um, how old were you in 2001? Uh, four. Four? There you go. That would explain why you only scored one goal in 61 yeah, appearances, yeah, but yeah. there you go. I uh, <laughs> had to give it up in the end. Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? Uh, this is my first. Your first one. Um, uh, so acting wise, mm. what would you say would be your um, your favourite job so far? Um, ooh, it's probably um, an ideal husband. I played Lord Cavisham, but it was a very like over the top uh, caricature type figure, uh, inspired by uh, like Colonel Melchett from uh, from Blackadder. Blackadder. Excellent, yeah. um, Andrew. Can you describe yourself in three words? Oh, um, quiet. Reserved, but energetic when needed. I know okay. that was way more than three. That was about fourteen but, uh, words. But okay, there that's we right. go. Um, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? I am Sebastian. Can you describe Sebastian in three words? Um, passionate, um, willful, and loving. Okay, you see, you were much better at describing <laughs> your character. <laughs> it. Um, apart from your own character, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? It's going to be Toby Belch. That, that is the wrong answer. Um, <laughs> I mean, of course, I mean, sir. Andrew. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Now. You just wait till I edit this and make it look like a moron, right? Um, mushy peas, yes or no? Yes, only only with fish and chips, though. Yeah, I never have it with ice cream. <laughs> um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Uh, Titus Andronicus. Because so, do you like the bloodiness? It's quite yeah, yeah, visceral, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's a very different sort of take on Shakespeare, and it's one that's really not done very often. Um, so I, I really enjoyed it when I watched it. Excellent. Um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one else really knows? Um, I, alongside playing the guitar, I'm also learning to play the banjo. Nice. Um, how, how good, like dueling banjo type speed, yeah? Yeah, or... yeah. On, only on certain songs. Okay. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty quick. Fantastic. Name? My name is Niall Wilkinson. Occupation? Uh, and I am, believe it or not, an actor. And? Uh, and given the nature of that, that means doing lots of other jobs in between. So shared loads of civil service, office temping as well. Okay. Um, so, um... You do do some work for Ofsted, I believe, now. <laughs> and as I'm a teacher, that makes us natural enemies, um, like the panther and the three-tailed sloth, of course, uh, natural enemies in the wild. I'll let the listeners decide which one of us is which. Um, so how difficult have you found it working with me, then, as I am your natural enemy? Because personally, um, I just want to punch you in the face <laughs> at every rehearsal. <laughs> well, it means blacking out what we do during the day. <laughs> Completely forgetting that. We're seething underneath, but on stage it's magical. I think that, I think it's testament to just how good our acting actually <laughs> is. We, we must be phenomenally good We are actors. amazingly good actors. I'm modest. Indeed. Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? Uh, I want to say the best part of 20. 20? Over how long a period of time? Years. 10 years. So averaging two a year. It's amazing. That's, that's got, maths for you there, I got, everyone. I got, I got, I got, I got Ofsted and I got an E in maths. There we go. Yeah. Well, well, we'll gloss over that. Um, now, can you describe yourself in three words? Um, caring, passionate, and 
a listener. A listener. Passionate's cropped up quite a lot. Oh, Everyone good? thinks they're very passionate. I think that's three months of Shakespeare that's a, for you. That's a different podcast though, that. It's um, passion in us. What character do you play in Twelfth Night? Um, I play Sir Toby Belch, which is borderline offensive because they've cast the Irishman in the company as the drunk. As a massive drunk, indeed. Um, you, are you training hard for it? Um, well, I've said no makeup. Okay. okay. They threaten me with. Uh, Red, red and drunk faced makeup. Okay, but you're going for your natural face. I decided to use real whiskey. Excellent. Can you describe your character in three words for me? Uh, Manipulative, um, hedonistic. Oh, nice, nice word. And fun loving, which is a bit linked to hedonism. Lovely, it is, but it's it's different enough. I had someone say happy and cheerful, and I wouldn't allow that. So those those the same word. Um, apart from your own character, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Ooh, that's a really good question. Uh, blimey, really hard. It's um, not that hard now. I mean, I'm sat right in front of you. Yeah, but you're a teacher. No, that's very true. So I can't see you. Um, I, I do want to say Sir Andrew. Well, well then say it. That's fine. I think, I think I, regardless of being arch enemies, I have to say Sir Andrew. That is the correct answer. Um, He's quirky and eccentric. He is. And Sir Toby needs it. He does indeed. Uh, mushy peas, yes or no? No. Brilliant. Well done. I Take guess. hands there. That's the correct answer. Um, mushy peas, bringing Ofsted and teachers together. Um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Oh, I've, I've got to say Macbeth. Because? The darkness. Mm. Uh, the plot is so intricate. No, it is a good one. It's not. Nice. a novel. It's cropped so up quite a lot, Macbeth. The characters are so... The range from being very natural to being highly imaginative, the witches, um, but also it's quite a fantastical play, and it's it's the darkness and the uh, the revenge and the, all that Excellent. kind of stuff. It's a meaty, meaty play. Okay. Now, final question: Can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows? <laughs> um, I used to. <laughs> Here we go. This this is this sounds good. Here we go. Yeah. Come on. I used to breed, not personally, to help each other. I used to breed exhibition. Champion budgerigars. You used to breed champion budgerigars. Yeah. Have you ever met Jeff Capes? Because he I also am, breeds budgerigars, doesn't he? I am genuinely surprised that you knew that. Oh, yeah, I know all sorts of. Uh, Jeff Capes, yeah. yeah. British world's strongest man. Yeah, 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 world's strongest man. Shot putter at the Stark Olympics. Stark shortage now, haven't we? Budgerigar breeder. Have you ever met him? I have actually met him at, a, at an exhibition. Several of them. That is amazing. That is the most interesting thing so far. We've even shared a word of, well, of the feathered variety. The, there we go. <laughs> And again, that's a whole new podcast. Got a chick off Jeff Capes. Oh, like, nice. Many moons ago. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, now, thank you very much. Name? Curtis Hardacre. Occupation? Actor. How long have you done that for, Curtis? Ever since I can remember. Excellent. So, from blank time, what was your first play that you were ever in, do you think? Can you remember? I was Noah. In? The groundbreaking production of my primary schools, whatever it was called, I was Noah. In Noah's Ark? Yeah, yeah, that's the one, Noah's Ark. That's the one, that very, Noah's Ark, we all remember it. Oh, tip of the tongue. <laughs> Noah in Noah's boat? Noah's ship? <laughs> Which one was it? Um, how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? I feel like it's around ten. Uh, over what kind of time period? From start to 2013, I've always aimed for two a year. Okay, well that's right, that's nice. Um, can you describe yourself in three words for me? Happy go looker. Happy, spot on. Well done. That is the best answer we've had so far. Um, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? Antonio. Okay, now Antonio is a bit of a pirate, isn't he? Do you have a favourite pirate? Captain Hook. It's got to be Captain Hook. That's a good, good answer. Um, oh, can you... I do have a fellow who downloads films legally as well. He's a very brilliant. Good he's like a real life pirate. Yeah, fantastic. We won't give his details out just in case. <laughs> um, can you describe your character in three words? Unfortunately, loved up. Again, you're very good at this. Much better than everybody else that we've interviewed so far. And apart from, <laughs> <laughs> not even kidding. Wait till you hear it. Um, apart from your own character, who is your favourite character in Twelfth Night? I do like Orsino, he's very dramatic. Okay, that is the incorrect answer. Uh, the correct answer is, of course. You're my favourite line. Though. Andrew Avercheek. Um, You're my favourite line. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, mushy peas, yes or no? What with? Just, just mushy peas, yes or no. So it's a yes, is it? But only with certain things. There are rules with stipulations. With mushy peas. What are the stipulations? Oh, well, chips, gravy, and mushy peas, you can't go wrong with. Okay, but you wouldn't say mushy peas with like a roast dinner? Yeah, but not mushy peas on their own. 
And well, no one would have mushy peas in their own. That's like that's like a, only a psychopath would eat mushy peas in their own. Out, out the tin. <laughs> well, I'm trying even just at the thought. Um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, nice. And can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one else knows? But then they'd know it. And they would know it. That's good. There, there are some people just outside as we're as we're filming this. If we if we listen, we might be able to hear them. There you go. There's people just shouting. And um, thank you very much, Curtis. Thank you very much. Name? Uh, Caroline McCann. Occupation? Legal secretary. Oh, how long have you been doing that for? Um, I've been doing that for about 20 years. Okay. But at the same time, working as a singer. All right, nice. Okay, so how many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? Um, about 40. About 40. Over what period of time? From about 1976. Blimey. Onwards, yes. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Now, Caroline, we met for the first time three months ago. Yes, that's Okay. Right. But we've been Facebook friends for over two years. Yes, that's and right. Can you remember why? Yes, I can. Go on. Because I, I asked you to play the part of Don Pedro in Much Ado. You did. Um, I didn't even ask anyone here. I just, someone told me there was a guy called Chris Boyle who had done acting before at the theatre, and I thought, oh, I know Chris Boyle, he's a friend of mine on Facebook, and I approached you, you and you were absolutely mortified. Well, I said, I, I think you've got the wrong Chris Boyle, <laughs> and, and I was right, you did have the wrong Chris Boyle. <laughs> and there, there's another one about 20 years younger than me, and I know as soon as you messaged me, I just went, you don't mean me, um, and I had a little cry. Um, so yeah, there we go. I just didn't know if you remembered, there we are. Um, can you describe yourself in three words? Myself yes. or the no, character? Your, no, yourself. Um, loud. Fabulous. Yes, nice. Um, musical. Musical. Okay, and what character do you play in Twelfth Night? I play the part of Feste, okay. the fool. Okay, and can you describe your character in three <laughs> oh words? Um, sly. Uh, funny. Crazy. Brilliant. Um, apart from your own character, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Um, I think it's you. That is the correct answer. <laughs> no, that is the correct answer. Um, mushy peas, yes or no? Yes. That's that's the wrong answer. Um, <laughs> other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? What to do about nothing. Because? Because it was one of the first ones I saw when I, I fell in love with Shakespeare. I always thought previously, oh no, I don't understand it, no, I won't understand it, and then I watched it, and, and I loved it. And I watched the film, and then I, I bored my husband silly with taking him to nearly every version that's been on, and got the opportunity At to that point, direct. we should probably say that if you also think that you don't understand Shakespeare and would like to be proved wrong, perhaps you'd like to come and watch Twelfth Night at the Wigan Little Theatre, <laughs> 26th of February to the 7th of March. Um, but don't but don't watch the film, just come and watch us. Yeah, I was going to say, but the real reason why I love Much Ado is because I directed it and I brought Shakespeare back to Wigan Little Theatre. There you go, bringing it back yeah. to the people of Wigan. Yeah. So you've got to come and watch it. <laughs> um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows? Yes, I had um, a record that got to the charts. What? in. Go on. Um, well, I was with a corporate band at the time with a co-op and we got to number, I think it might have been 42 or something. Oh, so it didn't really make the charts then, it was in well, the top 40. Well, you know, it was in the top 100. You didn't go to Radio to 1. Be... Yes, we did. They like all sorts of terrible yeah. stuff on Radio 1. <laughs> People with criminal records and everything. Well, they won't talk about that. We won't, we won't. It's a family podcast. Um, it might be. Um, so when was that? Um, it was around the time... I was working at the co-op, it feels like a hundred years ago now, it wasn't. Um, Although the co-op probably was around a hundred years ago. Yes, it was, but let's not go into let's that. Let's not talk about that. No. And what was it called? What was the song it, called? Well, it was Take That's uh, great, uh, Greatest Day. Okay. We had to call it Take That's Greatest Day because we did a version of Take okay. That's Greatest and Day. And they didn't give you the permission to do no. it. There's people outside yes. now, you can hear them um, shouting. So, Caroline, we'll wrap that up. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Name? John Norton. Occupation? I am retired. And what did you do before you retired? I was a personnel manager with Royal Mail. Oh, excellent. Um, and how many um, Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? 
It is in excess of 20. It is probably about 24, 25, something like Over that. Over what kind of time scale? Over nine years. Over nine years. Right, OK. Can you uh, describe yourself for me in three words? Small, bold, likeable. Oh, there we go. Lovely. I wonder if we're going to get a nice one. Um, what character do you play in Twelfth Night? I play the priest. The priest. Now, it's safe to say, John, that you have the smallest role in the play. Uh, you've got about, is it five, six lines? How many is it? It's eight lines, I believe. Eight lines. He comes on and steals a show. Um, is it the smallest role you've ever played? Probably, but they do say there are no small roles, only small actors. That's very I, true. I fit the bill on both counts. <laughs> Lovely. Um, can you describe your character in three words for us? Um, a little bit cheesed off with what's going on. Okay. That's more than three words. It is more than three words, but you're not the first. So don't worry about it. Um, apart from your own character, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? I think I rather like Malvolio. Okay, that, that is the wrong answer, John. Um, the, the correct answer is, of course, to Andrew Agacheek. Um, uh, mushy peas, yes or no? Oh, yes. Oh, day, and that's also the wrong answer. Um, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Much should do about nothing. And why is that? Because I was in that as well. And what were you in that, John? Uh, basically, Antonio. All right, okay. There's lots of Antonios knocking about in Shakespeare. There are indeed. Um, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows? That would be difficult, but um, I do play guitar, Okay. albeit for my own pleasure. I don't play uh, in public, but I think I'm quite good. Okay. Why, why, why do you not play in public, then? Uh, because I don't know if much of what I play is made up rather than going for music, because I don't read music. Okay, fair enough. Well, thank you very much, John. Pleasure. Name? Richard. Richard. Richard Robert Holm. Oh, full name. Nice. R-R-H. <laughs> Lovely. Um, occupation? I'm a market gardener. And how long have you been doing that for, Richard? Um, well, it's a family business and I'm a fourth generation one. Really? So, so how long has it been going for? Uh, since 1932. Wow. In, in the same place? That has been, yeah. I think though that answer gives you a bit too much um, of an impression of stability. Okay. I think I'd better describe myself as a journeyman. Okay, that's good. Because I've, I've done a bit of everything. Oh, nice. Okay. How many Wigan Little Theatre productions have you been involved in? I can't even remember. How, um, how long have you been involved? For, well, uh, 11 years, I think. It might be 12 years now. Okay. Um, between about 20, something Wonder. like that. Okay. Mm. Uh, can you describe yourself in three words? Mm. Oh, that's hard. Um... And I describe myself in three words. Yes. Lazy. I think I'm quite lazy. Okay. And, um, oh, now, what's that word where you're... Oh, well, I'm a libertine. Oh, you're, are you? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a lazy libertine. <laughs> what else am I? Uh, I th I'm going to stick my neck out and appear really, you know, arrogant. But okay. I think I'm quite clever. Okay. A lazy, <laughs> clever libertine. I like it. <laughs> And what character do you play in Twelfth Night, Richard? Malvolio. And can you describe Malvolio in three words? At this point, Richard used a word that I had to cut out. I wouldn't usually, but this podcast is possibly for a different audience than usual. <laughs> 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 All right, if we can have one that we can broadcast. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. All right, I'll cut that behind. Pa pardon me. Uh, yes, he's, he's quite um, egotistical, okay. deluded and unhappy. Nice. Um, apart from your own character, Richard, who's mm. your favourite character in Twelfth Night? I, I do quite like Sir Toby, because um, he, like me, is a libertine. He is. I mean, that is the incorrect answer. The correct answer is, of course, Sir Sir Andrew, Andrew Agacheek. Agacheek. Yes. Um, <laughs> mushy peas, yes or no? Yes. Mm. <laughs> the wrong we had this too. the other night as well, didn't yeah. we, I remember? Um, other than Twelfth <laughs> Night, uh, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? So I quite like... Um, the Merchant of Venice, or the Kaufmann von Venedi, okay. as I once heard it, saw it written on, on my German mate's DVD collection. Nice. But, um, That's the door outside, we'll ignore that. I've, I've, I've heard someone um, deride The Merchant of Venice as merely a courtroom drama, right. but to me it's about a lot more than that. It's about um, sort of isolation and um, injustice. Mm. I mean, I think if you... <clears throat> And a face value reading of it, Shakespeare presents it as like, you know, um, 
you know, someone getting the comeuppance. But really, it's not. It's it's, it's it has some really strong female characters in it as well. It does. Portia yes. is an incredibly. She's probably more of the hero than Antonio is. To Very be much so. Yes. Well, I mean, yes, yeah, she takes centre stage towards mm. the end of the play. Definitely. She does. Um, but there again, um, I think you. You've got a sort of temper your view of these so-called female char- characters with the fact that in Shakespeare's day, of course... They were all played by men. Of blokes, course they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, finally, can you tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows? Oh, God. How interesting. <laughs> well, you know, um, broadcastable interesting. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, that nobody really knows. Yeah. And it's got to be broadcastable. It has really, yes. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit... Yeah. We'll do the After Hours version at some point. All right. Uh, well, I think... No, 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 I don't know what to... Read. I'll just say I'm an organist. Will You're an do? organist. That'll do. Yeah. Okay, and people can interpret that however they wish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Richard. Oh, you're welcome. That's about it. That's everyone interviewed. That's one director. That's uh, 12 members of the cast. And uh, what? Oh, I've not done mine, have I? Oh, okay. If you insist. Stop the music. Name Chris Boyle. Occupation Teacher. How long have you been doing that for? Um, it's coming up to 19 years, I think, this summer. Um, but you don't look that old. Oh, that's very nice of you to say so. This is proper weird interviewing myself, never mind. Um, describe yourself in three words. Um, I'm tall, um, myopic, and uh, funny-ish. What character do I play in Twelfth Night? Uh, well, I play Sir Andrew Agercheek. Um I have called him Sir Anthony Agercheek on two separate occasions during this podcast. But then again, I never have to say my own name, do I? So that's okay. Um, describe my character uh, in three words. Um, uh, stupid, lovelorn, rich. Um, apart from my own character, who's your favourite character in Twelfth Night? Um, now, I've been thinking about this, and I'm not just saying this, but honestly, um, every single person in this play is absolutely amazing. Um, every character is um, is superb. I mean, obviously, uh, my character um, is the best. Um, but everyone is just is just amazing. It's just blowing my mind every rehearsal. Um, mushy peas, yes or no? No, just no. I mean, it's like it's like baked beans, mushy peas. They're like the worst foods in the world. Uh, other than Twelfth Night, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? Um, as I mentioned earlier in the podcast, um, it is Othello. I uh, studied it um, when I was doing my A level English, and uh, it's just I just think it's great. It's got the greatest villain. Um, that's ever been written, um, Iago. If I could play Iago, I would die a very, very happy man. Uh, not on stage, hopefully, but, you know, just several hundred years into the future. Um, tell us something interesting about yourself that no one really knows. Um, I don't know if it's particularly interesting, but um, when I was a kid, um, I think I'm remembering this right, I think I walked into a ladder in the Rhino House at Chester Zoo when I was little. I think I remember that right. Perhaps I didn't. Perhaps I just fell down a hole and uh, the concussion is making me think it's the Rhino House. Um, great. Thank you, Chris. Um, thank you very much. And that really is that this time. Um, thank you very much for listening. Uh, you've been listening to Chris Boyle. Didn't know that, but of course, you knew that anyway. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.